Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw the poinsettia flower in Adobe Fresca. We're going to use that flower later to create a holiday card uh, for your near and dear ones. And I'll show you how to arrange it and stuff like that using Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on the small postcard. If you cannot see it, go to custom size and then you'll see small postcard under print and click create document. Let's go ahead and bring in our sketch and the color palette. You can find the link to download both of them in the description box below. Once you have it here, just adjust the size to however you want. Make it something like this and click on done and go to your levels and make sure you reduce the opacity and turn the blend mode to multiply. You can click on levels again and it goes off. Let's bring in the color palette. Your color palette might not have all these colors because I would have refined it to only the ones that I really use. Click on done and now click and hold on the color to choose the color and just make a mark. And once you're done with that, let's go ahead and delete this layer on which your main marks and uncheck the view for the color palette. Now, if you go to your colors and if you go to the recent tabs, you'll see all the colors which have come up here. Let's quickly talk about the brushes that we're going to be using for this tutorial. So I'll be mainly using the vector brush that is basic round to create all the flowers. But I'll also use pixel brushes in that if I go to basic, I see something called as soft round opacity and I have clicked on the star so that it shows up in my favorites. And the other brush that I'm going to use is under ink and that is Belgian comics. So all these brushes will show up in my favorites tab. So you can do the same thing as well. Now let's go ahead and choose the vector brush and I'm going to go ahead and choose the lighter of the pink that we have. And we are going to draw everything below the sketch layer. It's okay if it's above sketch layer, I guess, but if you keep it below, it'll be much easier for you to understand. And if you don't have a blank layer here, click on plus to create a new layer. Okay, so let's start by coloring the petals. For that, I'm going to start from the topmost layer and slowly go down to the lower layers. You can also start from the bottommost layer and go ahead uh, to the top layer. It, just, it really depends on how comfortable you feel. So as you can see, there are two things that are overlapping. So we'll always make sure that this petal is on a different layer and this petal is on a different layer because we need to add shadows. So let's start. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I close this. Don't overlap two things. You should always close it because you're going to use the fill tool. Okay, there's just three of them. You can always now go to your fill tool, fill, fill, fill. Now let's go to the next layer. You can actually bring this below this layer. And now let's go back to the brush again and draw this. Okay, and again, fill, 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 and that looks good to the next layer and bring it below all the layers. Maybe we could do this as well. Now next layer and bring it all the way down and we'll do the rest of them. Okay, the rest of the things that you see are not actually petals, but they are basically leaves. And uh, let's click on new layer and uh, let's bring it all the way down and we'll draw the leaves. So go back to your uh, tool here and select the lighter olive green that we have. You can also make it a little darker if you want, I guess, but let's start off with this one and see how it looks. And uh, let's go back to our brush tool and make sure you're on a different layer and let's draw the leaves. You draw the leaves same way you actually drew the petals. And I think this place looks a bit empty, so I'm going to add uh, one over here as well. Go to fill. Okay, all our fill is ready as well. Let's just go ahead and uncheck it and check how it looks. Okay, now you cannot make out the difference at all, but that's okay. We're gonna add shadows now. So let's go ahead and into our pixel brushes and we're gonna choose the soft round opacity. And let's choose the dark uh, pink or dark pink here. If you don't have that color, you can actually move this 
a bit below so that it becomes a little dark please ignore this black blob it's a mistake so it shouldn't have been there okay so let's start off with the bottom most layer i guess and then click on a new layer and we're going to click on the clipping mask you can also use masking for this now this is the bottom most layer and you can see it's right here and i've kept my brush at 126 so depending on how big your artboard is you might have to change this brush setting so i'm going to add a bit of shadow like right around the edges of the other leaf like this that looks good okay go on to next one new layer clipping mask there's so many of them here so let's add a bit of shadow right here don't add too much shadow it should be a little subtle otherwise it won't look good this one here next one clipping mask obviously there's gonna be a shadow here bit here not a lot and then a bit here and then for the top layer we're not gonna add any shadows because it's on the top now let's go to the leaves section and click on new layer and clipping mask and now here we're going to go ahead and choose the darker olive green that we have and add a bit of shadow here like this if you cannot see this you can always go back and change it to the darker one um, and let's draw some shadows i'm just adding it to the corners like where the flower overlaps the leaves and nowhere else don't do like this so that it's very dark but generally you know like a little bit of shadow okay now that's done let's go ahead and remove the sketch and see how it looks okay our flower is coming through that's really good now it's time to add some finer details to it so let's go ahead and start off with the leaf and i'm going to go here and i'll go to clipping mask now and go to your belgian comics brush and i think i've set it to 76 and uh, now we are in the clipping mask and i'm just going to gently draw a line and some you know lines like this i'm using very light stroke okay that looks good and now let's go to the flowers and the first one we'll start off with the bottom most always draw on the clipping mask and let's go ahead and choose the dark pink that we had and uh, i think which one are those okay it's this one so go ahead and draw like that don't draw very dark lines this is really important we can leave that off like that because I don't want to put too much of lines on things. If you want, you can leave some of them just like that, like without any lines. It's totally up to you. I'll probably leave that one like that and come back and see how it looks later on. Because these two are on the same layer, it's kind of getting in the way. So I'm just going to go ahead and be a little careful over there. Let's go to this one. I'm being a little careless because, you know, it's just I'm doing it for the tutorial. So you can be more careful and make sure you avoid such lines. You can use any other brush that you like. And see how I use the lines to make sure that they don't touch the line. It's, it's just you can do a bit of an, you know, create some kind of an effects with these things. So we just left with the top layers here. So I'm just going to go ahead, click on a new layer and create a clipping mask and draw in here as well. okay that looks good so i left this one blank and this one blank so if you want go ahead and fill that as well but we'll just keep it like that for this tutorial okay 
and now once you're done with all this there's only one thing left and that is create a new layer go to your yellow that you have so you can choose any other color like white or something as well but i'm going to choose yellow and mark some things like this So our flower is ready and now it's time to make sure that we can use this flower to create a holiday card. So what I'm going to do is you can use this particular artboard itself and merge it, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to my home, click on three dots here and click on duplicate. Now click on the duplicated one. So once we are here, we're going to make sure and merge all the clipping masks to the uh, bottom layer. So you just click, click on merge down. And now I'll go ahead and click on these three dots and click on select multiple and click, 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 not this one and click and say merge selected. So everything is in one layer now. So if you use the transform tool, you'll see that it gets selected and you can actually move it around wherever you want. So now I'm just going to go ahead and keep it over there and click and click on duplicate layer and we'll do one more duplicate layer. So now go ahead and go to your main layer and click on transform tool and we're going to make it a little smaller. Okay, you can't see it. So let me just go ahead and uncheck these two and go to your main layer. Click on transform. Let's make it a bit smaller and keep it in the center of the uh, page. And now click on done. Now let's go to the next layer, this one and transform and let's make it smaller and bring it all the way here. And you can actually turn it around so that it looks a little different at least and place it like that. You can you can turn it however you want it doesn't matter something like that click on done that's okay it will be cropped continue and now we'll bring this all the way down to the bottom of the layer so that there's an overlap okay and we need to add some shadows here which we'll do later and then the next one let's turn it on and click on transform again um, make it smaller and we'll try to bring it somewhere here and uh, probably rotate it a little bit like that make it stay here click on done continue and then it looks like that but this one again we'll bring it all the way down now let's quickly go ahead and add some shadows so i'm just going to click on new layer and clipping mask because i like to keep everything on a different layer let's go to round opacity and we need the dark olive green that we had and let's go ahead and which one is this layer this one so i'm just going to add some layer here some kind of an effect there and i'll do the same here clipping mask and then add a bit of a shadow here and for the red one we can choose a red color and add a bit shadow here as well you can see i have added a shadow but yeah it should have been red okay all right so that looks good. We have added shadows to this as well. And uh, now this part is ready. And next up is to give it a background color. So let's go ahead and click on a new layer. And I'm going to choose the really dark color that I have. Uh, maybe this olive green. Let's go to fill and fill it up. So let's do a vector fill. And it fills up entirely. But I think it's a little too dark, isn't it? Let's go ahead and try to this one. Okay, this looks much better. This looks really better now, but there are blank spaces everywhere and we're going to fill that up. So click on a new layer and let's go to the lighter olive green that we used for the other leaves, the same green. And let's draw some yeah leaves. So click on a new layer, go to your brush tool and just draw a leaf like this. You can go outside the artboard. It's okay. Let me do it something like this. That should be fine and maybe I'll draw one here just like that and uh, maybe here as well. Okay, that looks good. Go to your fill tool and fill, 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 fill. Okay, so once you've filled that region and now it's time to go ahead and create a new layer and add a clipping mask because we have to add shadows, right? So go ahead and click on the darker um, olive green color. Go back to your soft round opacity. And I'm going to add a little shadow here because it, it's kind of overlapping there. But otherwise, my shadow is going to be in this region. And here it's going to be here. Okay, that looks a bit odd because this color is very matchy-matchy with the other color. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a lighter one now. 
and add a bit of shadow to the corners. Okay, that's fine. If you want, you can change this to a lighter olive. Let's do that, I guess. Maybe that'll look better. Okay. Okay, that looks better. Now go back to your clipping mask. I'm going to delete the content because I want to add a proper shadow there. Let's go there. Your soft paste in the bus or whatever that was, soft opacity. I don't know. And then add here, here, in the corner, a little bit, and in here so that it overlaps. Okay, that looks good. And now let's go to the Belgian comics brush and the color is going to be the same and let's draw this. So your card is almost ready. There's one thing left to do and that is to add text. So let's go to the topmost layer and click on plus to add some text and click on your text tool and click. And now let's click on the keyboard and this is for a holiday season. So I'm just going to say Merry Christmas. You can write Happy Holidays or whatever you want or Happy Hanukkah, uh, but the flowers don't go well with it, I guess. Let's go written up. Merry Christmas okay and let's click on that again and go to style text and I have this font called as Atocha and I'm going to use that you can use any font that you want and let's change the color to white because I think that looks much better and let's go ahead and zoom out and now you can change the font size to whatever you want I'll place it somewhere in the center and we definitely want it like this so that it's a center aligned and definitely bigger like that. Let's go ahead and check how it looks like. Should be okay, but I think these two are spaced very far away. So let me just go back there. And there's this con thing called spacing. You just click on that and you can decrease the spacing like this. That looks good. And maybe put it in the center. Hopefully it's center. And once you're done, click on any brush that you have and you're done. Okay, so you might be wondering what happened to the lighting. That's because I forgot to film in a tiny additional thing and I'm doing it during the night time now and the light is not ideal right now. Okay, so what I wanted to add into this tutorial before you move on to the next step is that once we add the text, I like to add a little bit of shadow to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text layer and then click on it and duplicate it. And once it's duplicated, I'm going to go ahead and click on text so that it selects that. Click and select black. You can choose any color or any dark color, by the way. Now I'll go ahead and place it below the white text layer and I will just bring it down a little bit so that it creates a little shadow kind of an effect, as you can see. But this is too dark. So what we're going to do is go ahead to your levels and decrease the opacity like you can make it as light as you want maybe a little lighter because i liked lighter and then you can actually adjust this to make sure that you want the shadow in the angle that you really want okay that looks good and once you're done you can click on your brush and as you can see there's a tiny shadow around all your text and once you zoom out, you can see that it's it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So yeah, for the next segment of the video, you won't see this shadow. That's because I filmed it earlier. Add this shadow to make your illustration look a lot better. So once you're done with this, you can just click on export, publish and export and export as you can give it as a PNG and export it. So by the way, anything that is out of this artboard gets clipped off. So it's perfectly fine. Okay, if you're thinking, what am I going to do with this now? How am I going to print it into a proper card or on an A4 sheet? I'm going to teach you that in the next mini tutorial. I can't include that in this tutorial because it gets super long. And also because my phone battery is kind of dying. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.